Okay, I'm speaking with John Murdy, the creative director of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. And John, I've got three quick questions for you based on the presentation we just saw. Okay. Uh, so you announced an original maze at the top. Yeah. You also, it looked like you were also teasing another I might have been doing something like that, maze. but I can't really say for Okay, sure. so my first question for you is, what's the difference for you creatively between uh, working on an original maze like that and working on a, a property-based maze, yeah, an IP-based maze. When you're working with a movie or a television show, like I, the first thing I always do is I go to the unit photography for that film or TV show, and usually that's like 40,000 pictures that they take during the course of production. So all of the research is, is there for you. You just have to spend the time to go through 40,000 pictures. Whereas in an original house, you have to go find all that stuff. So, and I'm a big research nut, so like for Scarecrow, knowing that, you know, the setting was the Dust Bowl in the 1930s, so I literally was, you know, in the National Archives on their website, going through all these historical photographs and newspaper headlines. Um, so a lot of it is about, um, the differences, a lot of it is the research that you do. Awesome. Uh, the big surprise of this presentation was bringing out your friend Slash, yeah. who's uh, contributed to some mazes at, at Hall Halloween Horror Nights over the years. Uh, to you, what are the unique qualities that music by Slash brings to the ma mazes slash uh, houses at Halloween yeah, Horror Nights? Yeah, I think passion is the big thing. You know, um, what, he told the story today, like the first time we met, which was in 2013. He just came to the event like anybody else and wanted to see Black Sabbath. and. Um, and I went and took him through it. And when he, I came out the other side, he was like, I, I want to do this. I don't know what I would do, but I want to do this. And so, we, you know, we kind of landed on the, the natural thing, which was music. Um, and then in 2014, we started this collaboration, which has now led to, this is the fifth one that we've done together. So every time, um, you know, I send him everything I write and I'll send him the character drawings and the elevations for the scenic. Um, and then I just kind of turn it over to him and let him come up with whatever he's going to come up with. Because, you know, in his heart of hearts, he's a huge monster fan, just like me. Um, so I know that he's already going to be coming from an authentic place. Excellent. And then lastly, I slipped up just a moment ago calling it a maze. Uh, <laughs> well, you right. you had a moment time. at the beginning of the presentation. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's a big conversation in the Southern California haunt community of, <laughs> over what's the appropriate term. W what's in a name to you? Well, uh, no, it, yeah, go ahead. Honestly, like the only reason we call them mazes in Hollywood is because that's what they were called in the previous iteration before my time. I started in 20, 2006 and back in the 90s and actually I, I looked this up recently going back to the very very first Halloween event in Hollywood before Orlando or anything back in the 80s um, the very first maze they had was called Maze of Madness so they're even using it back then you yeah. know um, but Orlando always called them houses and this year it was just like you know our, our team just kind of went well this is kind of silly you guys are using different names and I just said I really don't care because like it doesn't matter to me what you call it what matters to me is what's inside it Excellent. Well, really looking forward to this year's event. Thank you so Thank much for chatting with me.